moving on from that i wanted to quickly touch upon this because i thought like this is pretty hilarious right and i feel like this is maybe has now resulted in more people probably having weird anti-semitic thoughts that they probably never had before like it's kind of done the opposite i feel like this has kind of done the opposite effect in terms of you know allowing people to understand maybe the plight of the jewish people am i maybe they might be a little bit sensitive to certain things that i've said i think if anything it's now probably increased the amount of anti-semitic flipping feelings out there this flipping whole affair with jennifer aniston and fucking jamie fox so if you don't know randomly jamie fox out of nowhere decided to post on his instagram which he's fairly you know within his rights to do so he decided to post this very innocuous little post on his instagram where he essentially said the following they killed jesus um they killed this dude named jesus what do you think they'll do to you hashtag fake friends hashtag fake love now considering jamie fox has been literally on death's door and clearly he's gone through some sort of medical uh, you know emergency or whatever it may be that kind of resulted in him having to take some time away from the limelight you would assume this statement that he made may have something to do with that right may have something to do with the fact that maybe he was out of the limelight and maybe he's found that some of his friends were trying to set him down a river or whatever maybe or just being a hollywood star it's just something that you hear people say a lot right just you know fake friends people only there when you when they need you when you can't help them they're nowhere to be found blah 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 fairly innocuous fairly round of the mill it really isn't that crazy but this whole adage of saying you know they kill jesus obviously they could kill you too it's not really a slight on the jewish people it's more so to say if jewish could, if sorry if jesus could get stabbed in the back by those closest to him what makes you any better right that's basically the kind of saying and everyone kind of knows that um but for some reason i guess the jewish the jewish community have never heard this saying or the other thing i'm thinking of why they maybe got offense to it maybe they know what the saying means they kind of get it because you know jewish people are fucking smart but they don't like it they're kind of saying hey we don't like it because it kind of can be read the other way as if you know you know jewish people you know the whole adage or thinking behind that jewish people kill jesus and shit either way he didn't mean that right so it's one of those classic cases of somebody catching offense at something you said that you didn't mean to be offensive in the slightest now in this case i don't think you should apologize i think apologizing for stuff like this is really redundant doesn't make any sense especially somebody in jamie fox's position he's gone through enough um he's probably still suffering the after effects of whatever he suffered from which is probably why he hasn't really popped out popped out whatever it may be but still i feel like you should only really apologize for things that you actually did um you know with with ill intent to some regard right in terms of that regard and then maybe learning from that but when you did stuff with just no intention of hurting anybody and then people are demanding an apology from you otherwise they're going to cancel you this is basically one of the things that i feel like maybe kanye was saying without really saying it well he probably didn't articulate himself the best but this is kind of in the same sort of vein and like you know there's a certain group of people out there that you just can't in you know you can't offend you can't insult in any kind of way and they're incredibly sensitive to the point where if you say something incredibly innocuous like you know they killed jesus and what do, what do you expect they'll do to you they suddenly taken as offense and they did because the the group called uh a, a wider frame which i'm assuming is some sort of anti-semitic kind of group of people right kind of posted it and they said the following they were like actor jamie fox post horrifically anti-semitic message to his 16.7 million followers so that is obviously heinous right i'm not a fan of that but the thing that was really bad personally for me wasn't the fact that jamie fox did what he did and then he had to apologize you know I i'm guessing because he's in the vulnerable position he hasn't worked for a while everyone's currently on strike so he actually can't even pop out and do what he needs to be done so he went and apologized i don't really as much as it hurts my soul to see jamie fox apologize for something he did nothing wrong i can understand why he did do it because you know hey you need to pay the bills um, you don't want to get counseled for the for something that you actually didn't mean to do and if you can't apologize and just move on and continue with your life forget it but if it was me i wouldn't apologize the thing that was really spineless and cowardly was actually jennifer aniston she liked the post right and then i think everybody started attacking her in the comments because she liked the post and then she tried to clarify that she didn't like the post but she did like the post so the, the statement is odd she posted on instagram stories this really makes me sick I did not like this post on purpose or by accident, which doesn't make any sense, right? So he didn't like it on purpose, you're not like an accident. So who liked it then? Are you saying Cerberus is a control of your account? Or what? What are you actually saying here? 
And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by this showing up in their feeds. I do not support any form of anti-Semitism and I truly do not tolerate hate of any kind. Period. Again, doesn't involve her, wasn't anything to do with her. She liked the post that was, you know, talking about fake friends because I think everybody in Hollywood or anybody in a prominent position can relate to that message. The fact of being stabbed in the back by the ones closest to you. And then because Jamie's getting cancelled, she panics and then decides to basically throw Jamie Fox under the bus by saying that what he said was crazy. But she understood what he meant in the first place, but then she's trying to basically throw the other guy under the bus. This, to me, is the most cowardly thing ever. Not so much what Jamie did and didn't, you know, what he didn't intend to do and then he apologized. That kind of is what it is, kind of, you know, try your best to sort of preserve your career. But Jennifer Aniston doing this is incredibly cowardly and kind of speaks to the overall lack of spine that exists over there in Hollywood. And the fact that all of these guys and gals, regardless of where they are, regardless of how close they are to certain people, they will throw each other and sometimes maybe even their own mothers under the bus if it means that they preserve their position in this, you know, fragile Hollywood industry that they exist in where they're only as good as their last project. It's absolutely sickening. And it kind of goes to show that maybe what Jamie was saying was actually real because who knows, maybe Jennifer Anson and Jamie Foxx are actually friends in real life. Like they actually hang out. She's been around his family. They go to each other's houses. They go out for dinner and drinks. And then the first instance of him getting some pushback from the Jewish community for something he didn't intend to say and that was received wrong, she, she immediately throws him under the bus. It just goes to show that there are no real friends in show business. There are no real friends anywhere, really. And if you do find somebody that is your real friend, you should try your best to hold on to them for dear life because more often than not, more often than not, there are people out there that are willing to flip and bury you and throw you under the bus for way, way less. Absolutely heinous. And I hope Jamie Foxx is recovering well because the last thing he needs is this sort of like nonsense stress. But hey, what can you do? And I think the last update from that is that I think I just checked it recently. Jen Fanson has basically disabled all comments on her Instagram because it tends to happen quite often whenever a prominent person gets like, you know, publicly chastised by people, which was good to see, to be honest. Good to see a lot of people on social kind of call her out for basically being spineless and whatnot. And um, essentially, she didn't want to see the replies because everyone just went on her Instagram aside commenting and basically saying, why don't you apologize to Jamie Foxx for purposely, you know, liking the comment and then purposely trying to misinterpret what he said when he knew what he said in the first place. And she didn't want to say it, so she completely turned off all her comments across her entire social media, especially on Instagram for the most part. You can't comment at all. So it goes to show that, you know, these motherfuckers are spineless and they don't have the the gumption or the guts or the courage to own their mistake and say i'm sorry it's actually quite sickening to be fair actually actually quite sickening but hey what can you do